read in the papers yesterday that the Prime Minister Narendra Modi told the media in Delhi that it was a drama that happened in the parliaments. He called the discussion and the debate on the no confidence motion as a drama. I can only say that if it was a drama, if it was a drama, in that drama there is only one villain and that villain is none other than Narendra Modi. He is the villain of that drama. Only because of that villain, we, the parties of India, the opposition parties, were forced to bring a no confidence motion against him in the parliament. Because he was hesitant to come to the parliament, reluctant to come to the parliament. He was telling every time, every day and night, that every day and night he was telling that I will not come to the parliament. For months and months together, he was telling that I will not utter a single word on Manipur. When Manipur was burning, when the people are suffering like anything, when the women were nakedly paraded on the streets of Manipur, all this happened. But the Prime Minister of India, who talks about the mothers and daughters of Manipur, he was silent. He was silent. And that silent Prime Minister, he was not ready to come to the Parliament. Parliament is the place where a Prime Minister has to come and speak. It is his number one arena. His political arena is the Parliament. But India see for the first time in the history a Prime Minister who is afraid of the Parliament. A Prime Minister who is hesitant to come to the Parliament. A Prime Minister who is reluctant to come to the Parliament. So we the parties of India, the opposition, we were forced to bring a no confidence motion to make him come to the parliament. And I can tell you, the Communist Party is very happy to tell you that we, the India parties, are very proud to say that in that primary battle we won because we made the Prime Minister to come to the parliament. Everybody knows the numbers. The Lok Sabha, we are few in number. So it is sure that we will get defeated. We got defeated. But we see that defeat as a victory, as a big victory. And mainly, only because of that, the Prime Minister who is running away from the parliament was brought to the parliament by that no confidence motion. In that way, it's a victory. And out of his despair, anger, he is now calling it as a drama. That's why we believe that in that drama, the first and the last villain is the Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself. I can tell you, in that drama, there was a very, very pathetic uh, role was played by a, an MB from Manipur. In the drama, we can see some are villains, some are heroes, some are very sorrowful people. In this drama also, there is a sorrowful weeping man. It is the MB from Manipur. That MB was forced by BJP to take the role of a dumb man who cannot speak. Who cannot speak. They told him, don't open your mouth. Don't speak anything here. Because they know that if the MB from Manipur opened his mouth, he will tell the truth of Manipur. This is land. Of course, he support the BJP government. Even though he support the BJP government, anybody from Manipur, anyone from Northeast, if they open their mouth, they can only criticize the BJP. That body knows, that BJP knows. So they asked him not to open the mouth. So that role of a dump man was given to that MP. So in that way, I agree, Modi was telling the truth. He is the villain, 
and the MP from Manipur is the man who acted the role of a dump. I am sorry, but this is the truth. In Rajya Sabha, we saw a scene. A MP of Rajya Sabha from Mizoram, Mizoram National Front, a party that supports the NDA government, a close ally of the BJP. He opened his mouth in Rajya Sabha. When he opened the mouth, he shouted, I am an Indian. Don't call me foreigner. The other day, Amit Shah called them foreigners. He told, we are not foreigners. We are Indians. So don't call me, don't call us foreigners. In that way, he was shouting with anger, with sorrow against the BJP. That is the situation today in the whole Northeast. The fire in Manipur has spread to all parts of the Northeast. It has reached to Mizoram, reached to Meghalaya, reached to, it has reached to Assam, to Nagaland, and everywhere that fire has become a wild fire. Modi government is the reason for that. And even today, they are telling nothing seriously about the political crisis in Manipur and the Northeast. Modi government is a failed government. Modi government is the government that has treated this country with all ignorance and neglect. And that government has no right to continue. That's why the Communist Party, the party of Elamanda Reddy, is telling that the time has come to change this government. And we believe the 2020 for elections are the time to change the government with that political task in mind, we are trying to unite all the political forces. The CPI, though not a very big party, this is the first party in the country that talked about a very broad-based unity to defeat the BJP. When nobody was so clear about that, years back, the Communist Party in its 2015 Puducherry Congress, it made a call to the nation to build up a broad platform of secular democratic left forces to fight and defeat the BJP. And now we are very proud to say that this idea, the political slogan put forth by this party, the great party, the CPI, it has become the focal point of Indian politics. All the parties now revolve around that slogan and that's why we are proud. We are sure that that unity of the India parties will be strengthened and we will see that the differences are there with the parties. The political scene is varying from state to state, we know it. But still we are sure that the day will come when the Modi government will be stepped down, forced to step down, and the people will win and the government of India parties will come to power. We are struggling for that day and that will come. Sir, what about so many matches were discussed in the Indian parliament during the no confidence motion. In that discussion, Rahul Gandhi spoke about the tears and blood of the people of Manipur. He told that Manipur is bleeding. The Communist Party of India, the CPIM and all other parties, all of them spoke politics in that debate in the Lok Sabha, all the parties. But BJP preferred to pick only one thing. They responded to none of the political part of the debates. They are talking about a kiss. BJP want the whole issue of Indian politics to revolve around a kiss. And that's why a flying kiss became a focal point for the BJP today in the Indian politics. Because they cannot argue for the BJP policies. They cannot provide the proof for the BJP success successes. So they thought, let us Focus on the kiss, flying kiss. Do you know what happened there, friends? While coming out, the papers with Rahul Gandhi, some of them fell down. And he just tried to pick it up from the floor. When he tried to pick it up, there was a big laughter. As Rahul Gandhi is some a, a no nonsense man. So they were laughing, the BJP bunches. Hearing that laughter, to insult him, the Congress leader, the young Congress leader, he stood up and in a very 
Georgius Banner, I could say. Georgius Banner, he smiled at them. He smiled at them. And then he did like this. I think it was a beautiful gesture. It was a beautiful gesture of a sensible political leader, young political leader, to the opposing and laughtering opponents of his natural needs. If a pen falls down, I will pick it up. If my paper falls down, I will pick it up. All will do it. Only that much Rahul did. Then they made it a issue to laugh at him. What he can do? He can just do it. So I repeat, it was a very, very beautiful gesture from his part. But the BJP is telling that it is a misogyny, anti-woman deed from the part of Rahul Gandhi. I feel pity for Smurdi Irani and the BJP leaders to create such a very <laughs> unfounded story out of that. Only from that school of fascinations and imaginations, one can say like this. And when it reached Modi, he called it was a drama. The whole debate was a drama. That's why I told you, if it was a drama, the villain is nobody but Narendra Modi.